Do you struggle blow drying your extensions? salon owner and today is Tuesday which means techniques tips and tricks Tuesday today I'm going to be showing you how to blow dry your extensions easily hassle free and quick so many people overcomplicate this and it does not need to be that done you can get quick shiny straight hair voluminous just these easy tips if you want to know that watch the video the first thing you're going to want to do is wrap your hair up if your hair is too long um, and it hangs out of the towel then all I do is I like how I would normally do it and then I just tuck it underneath like that and then I just sit here for about 30 minutes or so you're going to want to put seven seconds this is the best detangler before anything um, it also serves as a heat protectant And you see how easy it is just to like get through your hair with that spray like oh my goodness it is so amazing and then I'll take little sections of it and I'll start once the ends are detangled and I'll slowly start taking um oh sorry my face is itchy I think it's my allergies and then all the way at the root too Okay, I know it also sounds like it's ripping, but that's just because uh, the, bris the bristles are so flexible. You see, like it's not ripping my hand, and it makes the same sound. After you detangle your hair, you can also put a mousse in or a volumizing spray. Just um, I don't personally do it because I get really, really oily hair, and I tend to be able to get enough volume with my extensions as it is. So I don't. So what I do is I section right under my extensions. So right now I don't have any extensions. Um, I'm going to be blow drying. So now I have this little bit of hair. It's right under my extensions. Don't mind this drag down. That's totally fine. Um, and then you always want a nozzle. Always have a nozzle because um, you don't want the hair to be blown around and it getting all tangled it'll just make your job so much easier um so let's get started okay so the main part when you're blowing it drying extensions is to make sure that you get the scalp completely dry as you can see right here i'm not over directing the hair i'm not making it go up i'm not making it go uh, left or right i'm just blow drying it straight down make sure that the cuticle is going straight down because you already get enough volume with extensions that you don't need to over direct it and after you get the scalp dry um, go in. You, can, you don't have to use a brush right here. You could also use a, your hands, whatever's easier. But make sure the main focus is to make sure that you get that scalp completely dry. Make sure that you're just pointing the blow dryer straight down. Don't worry about putting it other places like you would with your normal hair. Okay, now at this point, I got one layer of my hair completely dry. Now I'm going to section off my bottom row of extensions. So I'm just gonna feel for that. Be very careful if your hair's grown out. You don't wanna put your finger through when you ain't come out. Okay, so the most difficult part or the part that freaks clients out the most about blow drying their extensions are the rows. You, the, It's not difficult at all. All you're going to do is direct the heat specifically at the rows and keep blow drying straight down. Don't worry about putting the rows up or to the left or to the right to get more volume or body because you already have volume and body with the extensions. You don't have to do that. It is so much easier than blow drying your hair naturally. So just keep directing the blow dryer, the hair straight down, just blow dry down, 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 down. Keep moving the air down, down, down. Nothing else, don't move anything else, just keep the air directly, specifically down. So now I'm just going to define my part. And 
not perfect because I still want it to look natural. But yeah, that's cute. There. Now it's cute. You can always uh, take this section and round brush it and blow it out, but my hair is so long. I have no layers. This is all one length. There's there's no way I can possibly do that on myself. Like, I, I mean, I just, I personally don't do it. So when you go to the top, it's not that different. All you're going to do is you're going to take the brush and you're going to try and create tension with it so that you can try and pull the top of your real hair to try and make it lay as flat as possible and get kind of a round brush action without actually having to round brush your hair and without actually having to straighten it after. If you do see a little bit of frizz though, you can always straighten a little bit, but this seems to always work for me. I've never had a problem with it. Um, and like you did on the other section, you just go through, grab the sections and start blow drying it until it's completely dry. Run your hands through it and you'll love it. And there you have it. That's how you blow dry your extensions. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below. I really want to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you enjoy these story times or techniques, tips and tricks, please subscribe down below. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you have a great rest of your day. God bless. Bye.